Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So very excited because I am going to be testing out the brand new skin tint from Hourglass. It's called the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. Just came out. Um, fortunately for me, Hourglass it did gift me two shades. However, it seems like neither shade was my shade. So I actually went and bought a third shade to get my shade. So I have three shades. Um, I have shades five, seven, and nine. Five and seven were gifted to me. Seven, I mean, sorry, five and nine were gifted to me. Seven, I think, is my shade. But um, we're gonna be testing it out. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's just an amazing skin tint. I am a full coverage girl, so for me to love a skin tint says a lot. But I'm gonna be applying it. It's not gonna be a wear test but I'm gonna be applying it today to kind of show you the finish, how it looks. I have worn it, that's kind of how I know I got the wrong shade. I did wear it last beautifully, it looks gorgeous, lasts throughout the day, especially for a skin tint. But we're gonna test it on and I'm gonna kind of show you, you know, why I like it. So a little bit about the product, it is um, 1.2 ounces. It looks really tiny. I know people were commenting that it's such a tiny, um, you know, it's such a small amount. The packaging is really small. However, foundations are usually about one ounce. However, they're in like maybe glass bottles, so they feel a lot heavier. This is a lot lighter. It's It looks small, but it's actually 1.2 fluid ounces. Now it is $49, so it's not cheap, especially for a skin tint. So, you know, keep that in mind. But don't let the bottle deceive you because the bottle is just, it's very slim. It's very, very travel friendly. I like it. Um, I still think it's sleek. It's very light, but I still think it's very sleek and it's very on par with Hourglass. So what it says, it's a lightweight skin tint that boosts moisture levels by up to 50% for a dewy glow and provides a sheer veil of, of coverage for comfortable all day wear. I don't know if it's so much of a dewy glow. Um, I, I don't like dewy glows and I like this finish, but I'll show you kind of how it looks. Um, it is a light finish, it's a, a light coverage, radiant finish that i would say i would say it's more radiant than dewy um it's obviously liquid and then um some highlighted ingredients are meadow foam foam seed oil hyaluronic acid and plant-based squalene um so there's a bunch of clinical you know results and whatever but um so there are 18 shades and i will say with the three shades i got i can make any one of them work because it's such a sheer coverage because it's so lightweight um, it you can definitely make them work. So what I'm going to insert right now is here is a picture in the sunlight, just a skin you know skin swatches. That's five, seven, and nine, um, and you can see they're very similar in coverage. This is a little bit sheared out, but probably would not. I would even shear it out more on my skin. So you can see the colors are very very similar. So five is light with warm undertones. Seven is light medium with neutral undertones and then nine is medium with warm undertones so i am a neutral to warm undertone um and i'm definitely more light to medium so seven seemed to be the one that was right for me and again they sent me five and nine um i can actually mix them together however nine will be really good when i have a little bit of a tan which is not that often, or I can actually mix them together and it, it makes a good cover. So I'm definitely gonna get use out of them, but I did go ahead and purchase um, the correct shade, which is seven, and when I got it, it is definitely the correct shade. So let me go ahead and show you, as I said, I have no makeup on, the only thing I do have is, I do have my brows on, and we'll go ahead and apply it. Okay, so you can see I've already used it, but this is the top right here. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my palette. Now I am gonna go in with a brush at first and apply it. And then I'm gonna go in with a damp sponge to kind of smooth it out. But I do like applying this one with a brush, which I don't always do, but I do like applying this one with a brush. And I'm going to use my Anissa Pinnacle Foundation. I love this brush, it is just amazing. Um, and I'm just gonna apply it and you can see I, you know, I don't know how much you can see on cover on camera, but it is really, really pretty. And again, I like full coverage. I like a full, I'm a full coverage girl, and this just gives a really your skin but better um, look. So let me go ahead and apply it and come back. 
Okay, so that is the application with the brush. Um, it looks beautiful. Now you can see it definitely has a radiance to it, but it feels very hydrating. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel heavy. And I can see, you know, a couple freckles, a couple, you know, you know, spots that I have on my face. However, I feel like it's just, it's my skin, but better. That's, I mean, that's the perfect way to, to, to describe it. Um, I just think it looks gorgeous. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more on my palette here, and then I'm going to go in with a damp sponge and just kind of touch up a little bit. I kind of like the finish just a little bit more, kind of layer it a little bit more, give it a little bit more coverage. You can layer it and it does wear really, really well. And it just looks really good. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm, I pretty much go in like my T-zone because that's kind of where my foundation would wear the fastest is in my T-zone. So that's where I'm going to go in with the um, sponge. And then at the end, I'll just go in over the rest of the face as well. So, okay. I have the Hourglass Spanish Concealer that is still in the box. Just took it out. I have I've probably had this for a few months. I just haven't used it and I never got around to using it. Um, I have the shade Silk, which is Silk 2.5, a light neutral with pink undertones. So I usually get a concealer with like pink or peach undertones to um, help with the dark circles. Um, and I'm just going to put a little because this is more, I think, full coverage, if I remember correctly. And um, I don't want to, I want it to blend nicely. I don't want it to look too much like I'm wearing concealer and I lost my brush, there it is. And uh, so I'm going in with my Anissa, this is the angled concealer brush and I'm just going to blend it out here. And going in on the other side. And now what I'm gonna do is take with that damp sponge, again, I have a little bit more product here and I'm just gonna kind of go over the concealer a little bit to blend it out and make it seem more seamless but again I'm just just absolutely loving this coverage it's just it's lightweight but it just gives my skin a blurred effect that the only other skin tint that I can think of that does that, well, the BB cream from, or the BBB cream from one size, I love, but that's kind of more of a medium coverage. And then the Fenty um, Ease, whatever that one is, that one is also really nice. I haven't worn that one in a while though, so I'd be curious to see kind of a side by side. But that is it. Let me kind of come in a little bit more you can kind of see the coverage um but that's it like no powder now it's dried down i probably will powder um after i go in with my products just because i like a light dust of powder um i do have the hourglass veil powder that again is still in the box haven't used it so i'll probably pull that out after, um, as well but i'm going to go in with the rest of my face and come back and give you my final thoughts Okay, so I am back and I just put a little bit of, you know, light coverage. Um, so here are my thoughts. I think this is beautiful. I've actually, this is the second time I've worn it. So it's more of a first impression than a full review. But for someone who doesn't like skin tints, I really like this. Um, it's lightweight but it doesn't emphasize texture. So I'm 47 now, um, my birthday was last week. It doesn't emphasize texture. It doesn't, you know, crease in the small lines and, you know, just all the bad things, right? It, I think it's very mature skin friendly. Um, I feel like it's very hydrating. Right now, um, my, my face is a little dry. I tend to have more combination skin, but right now my skin is a little dry just because I've been using some products that have been drying my skin out a little bit. Um, but it's very hydrating. It's, I wore it all day yesterday. I would say it's, you know, it's not going to give you 12 hours. Um, I would say like six to seven hours is good. Um, but then it's going to start to fade. It's not like you're gonna see street, it, it doesn't break apart where it breaks apart and it looks, you know, like you really need a touch up. It just kind of fades away, which I like. So um, I am, I actually have a couple skin tints uh, coming. I have the Cali Ray, which I have, and I have not even tried yet. Um, I have the Bobbi Brown one that just, 
came out is is on its way to me so i'm going to be doing a skin tint roundup of some of the new skin tints the danessa myricks i've heard great things about it i have not purchased it but i am thinking about it since i'm going to be doing a skin tint roundup but um that is going to be forthcoming so this will definitely be included this is the first one kind of i'm testing so um it might be a little bit a little while but expect that and i will kind of give you more of a full you know fledge review when that video comes up but right now i i really like this um any comments and any updates i will put i will either pin a comment or put it in the description box so if there's any like if i decide like you know i really hate it um it breaks me out or something like that i will put it in a comment or in the description box i will help you with there update you there if not um i will be doing a roundup later on but I love it. I love the packaging. I think it's very sleek. I think it's very travel friendly. Don't be deceived by the size. It's 1.2 ounces, which is on par or maybe even a little more than the average because usually it's it's one one ounce, what is usually is out there. But I think it's fantastic. Um, shade range is only 18 shades, but it's um, I could make five or nine work. Seven is definitely a better shade match for me, which I thought, but I can make five or nine work. So don't stress too much about the shade. Um, I would say focus on the undertone because I know I'm a neutral to warm undertone and that I if I had gotten a cool shade, it wouldn't have worked. So definitely look at that um, and then use that shade, shade, shade and then use their shade finder. They have it, I believe, on Hourglass, but I know they also have it on Sephora. So definitely use that um, to help find your shade because when I did that, it told me seven, which was the exact match. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.